Good morning, Heavenly Father. Boy, I know you like that though. For five minutes, five minutes. Heavenly Lord, we say thank you once again for this moment. We worship you, Lord, because of God, nobody like you. It's when not to start that every day. So, thank you, Lord, forever, and Jesus. Today is another brand new day, Thursday, 11 of two, January 2024. The year is going again. Father Lord, stay to that control, forgive all sins, stay to that control, feel me to present, feel your purpose to present. Teach us, O Lord, your word. We don't want to go astray. We don't want to make mistakes. We want to walk before you and be blameless and be perfect. Make us perfect. Let there be peace all over the world. Let there be peace in our homes. Let there be peace in our family. Let there be peace in our everything we do. Let your presence show off. Because by in the presence of the Lord, there is a fullness of joy. Let that be your present, Lord. <laughs> Let that be a miracle. Thank you, Father, because you answer prayer. Every power of darkness working against our life, destroy them. Any man or woman praying against our life, Father, turn their prayer to abomination in Jesus' name. Put your favor upon us. Hands our spiritually in the name of Jesus. Every trap of the enemy we destroy, we cancel it in Jesus' name. Lord, thank you, Father, because you answer prayer. Open this platform in the name of the Father, this one, the Holy Spirit. And for those people who are on my platform this morning, speak to them, speak to me as well. Bless us, O Lord, beyond our expectation. Let us be healed in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name we pray. You are welcome to this platform. Quickly, we are going to pray. We are going to talk about drop your habit. There is no title on it. But the Spirit of God said I should tell you, drop your habit. Because your habit will destroy the habit you are, you are carrying along that you are not dropping, that you are not leaving, that you are so much love, is going to do what? Destroy your talents. Okay? Drop your habit. Everybody have an habit. Everybody under the health, under this, this heaven, have one thing or the other. Habit called habits. Okay? So drop your habits. The habit that is willing, that is stopping, that causing you disgrace. Habits. A lot of people, some some the sample habits is some people will drink and then they fall into God. Some people will go and take some things and then they start misbehaving and that will cause them problem. So habits cause people's problem. A rubbish with your talent, a rubbish whatever you do. So habits have caused a lot of people trouble, even in the Bible. Habits cause the bad habit that our father that David have sleeping around, love to cheat, you know, cause him problem, okay? So today, they said you should drop your habit. You are a pastor, you are a, a church member, whatever. You are a pagan. Drop your habits. Habit also is working against a lot of people. Bad habits has caused a lot of problems also in the society. A lot of people that love to... Some people love to steal, it's bad habit. Some people who love to cheat, it's a bad habit. Some love to fight so much, dirty, it's a bad habit. So please, the Bible say, I mean the Spirit of God say, I should tell you, drop your habits. I'm trying to, you know, some people, are, some, don't, some don't understand, they can't even understand themselves. The bad habits, they are so used to the bad habit that, they don't even understand. They don't count it as a bad habit any longer. It's like a friend. Their bad habit are the, they are the, they is the best friend of their life. Okay? The bad habit is the best friend they have. It's the best thing they do. And they when they are, you know, when they 
moving in that bad habit, they believe they do they can do better in their bad habits. So they say, What I can what they will, you know, I don't know how to put it this way. Let me put it this way. When you ask some people, what can you do better? What they, in the things they can perform better, in things they can perform better is the bad habits. They were so much in bad habits, you know, drop your bad habits. A lot of bad habits cause a lot of problems as well. You know, we are talking these days, we are not telling you about Bible much, but Bible is real, okay? Bad habits have caused a lot of, a lot of people who fall into temptation, fall into trouble. Some people, they, will, they know the truth, they cannot listen. They said because of their bad habits. They have so much love their bad habits. They are in love with it. And they believe they are she with their bad habits. Yeah. So who people sleeping around that they when they sleep around they got money. Some people stealing when they when they steal they got no money. But it's a bad habit. You understand me? Some people fighting when they are fighting, they got money. A lot of people, you know, a lot of people cheating, they got is a bad habit. A lot of all these things. So I don't know your bad habit. I uh I know mine. Okay. You should try to detect. If you don't detect your bad habit today, I pray for you, for Almighty God to help you to detect your um, to, to realize and to know that your bad habit. And God Almighty should set you free from that bad habit and set me free also from that bad habit. A bad habit has caused a lot of pastors. They have gift, they have talent, but it has caused them disgrace. A lot of people God has called because of the bad habit. They have been rejected at the end. A lot of bad habits have caused a lot of trouble in society, in home, in marriages. Bad habits, you understand me. A lot of people will do something. Even people who love to beat their wife, they will beat, they will bully their wife and beat them up. And after that, they say it's just a bad habit. They don't know what even causes it because they have used to it. Your things you have used to that is not of God, that you are very close to, that you 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 practice every day is a bad habit. I pray for myself, for my children. I pray for everybody under my platform today. Whatever bad habit you have that be killing you, killing your talent, killing whatever you do, causing you with disgrace, causing you embarrassment, I pray God Almighty will save you and save me from those things in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Bad habit is a sickness. Re detect it today and leave it. Pray against it. Come against it. So, because he has a purpose and bad plan for you. Cancel all the bad plan. Bad habit is not a good thing. Yes, this is the, the spirit of God say I should say this to you. Shame from your bad habits. Fight your bad habit. Reject your bad habit. Renounce it. Divorce it. Leave it now as from today. The Almighty God will give you the capacity, the original spirit of God, strength to leave them, to forsake them. And from today you have peace. The bad habit will not allow you to have peace. Because when you have, after doing it, you say, oh God, I hope nobody has seen it. I hope nobody has detected me. Nobody has, you know, they start looking for one way or the other to pass up, to cover up. No peace of mind. A lot of people are living their life like that. Under fear. Because they don't want their secret to be open because of this bad habit. The Almighty God will set our nation, our people, our family, our family, our husband, our children, our wives free from this bad habit. Bad habit depart away from us as from today. We want to carry the presence of God because the presence of God. There is a fullness of joy. Yes, we are renewed by God's grace in Jesus' name. In Jesus' powerful name I pray. Amen. Don't forget Isaiah chapter 5 verse 20. He said, what to those people who see bad and call it good? Who see good and call it bad? I mean bad. Who see darkness and call it light? Don't forget, today is making seven days. Now, I will continue to say that. Remember, God said, the Bible said, warn to those who see the truth and call it lies. Okay? Who see the light and call it darkness. Who see things, sweetness and call it bitterness. Okay? So, and I pray for you, this year, the Almighty God, your own, your portion will not be woe. My portion will not be woe. In the name of Jesus Christ, Almighty God will not cause you. It will not cause me. And once again, before I go now, pray, God Almighty, please help me. Help me, help me, every attachment of darkness over my life. Father, remove them from now, in Jesus' name. Every cause, every trouble that have been attached to my life, personally, Father, remove them. It may be bad habit also. It may be cause. Father, remove it. Set me free, together with my people, my children. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. I am a child of God. I'm a Christian. Okay? So, nothing can change it.
Okay? I believe so much in God. I the, the Lord Almighty, Almighty God is in me. And I speak the truth, nothing can change it. Because God will not leave me, he will not forsake me. But don't forget, don't forget, a lot of bad people, a lot of fake people also are there. They're because of the bad habit. Don't forget Isaiah 61, Isaiah 60 verse 1. Arise this year and shine because your light has come. Bola for shade shibula de steri ayaba. I will arise and shine because my light has come. Sarah will arise and shine. Oluwara Meleku will arise and shine. Sheifu Oluwara Sheifu will arise and shine. All of you who are on my platform today, you arise and shine. My na my nation, oh my nation Canada and everywhere my where I was born originally and all the people who love us all over the, all over the world, you will rise and shine. The Lord will repair whatever the enemy have destroyed in our life, in our nation. And we shall rise and shine because our light has come. In Jesus' name we pray. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, fellowship of Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit be with us now forevermore. Amen. Surely goodness and mercy, success and favor shall follow us. All the days of our life we shall do in the earth, you know, forever and ever. Amen. We shall be like a tree planted by the riverside. Now bring forth in the fruit of the season, our lips shall never wither. Whatever we hear, one shall prosper. Name of the Lord is a strong to what the right shall run into it. I say myself, my people run to it. We are all safe in Jesus. And as months is around Jerusalem, O oh God Almighty, surround my life, my people, life, my children, with, with the power of God, with those of heaven, and blessing of God, and power of God, and favor of God. Now and forevermore. Amen. Seven hallelujah. Amen. Bye for now. Love you guys. I'll see you again.